get ready to go. It will be Cox and McCarter to jump as we get started. Ball's in the air, and it's going to be controlled by Tippecanoe Valley. Here's Egolf with it quickly up top of the key. Now they go to Gonzalez. Gonzalez with between the rings against Wilson. Now they come to the near side. Back up top to Gonzalez. Gonzalez holds it. Now they're into the corner, stolen by Rochester. McCarter steps in the passing lane, gets the first turnover of the game to Tippy Valley. Good sign Gonzalez did not look comfortable in that playing against the 2-3 zone of Rochester. Ro uh, Tippy Valley pushing Rochester all the way out to the half court line, and McCarter's got to get rid of it, and does, and Wilson saves it from going out of bounds, but we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Both teams putting some uh, extra pressure on as Tippy Valley pushed Rochester all the way out to that corner, right where they want him, not where Rochester wants. You know, when I talked with Coach Bill Murchie from Culver Academy, he said when they were getting ready to play Valley, he said when we, when we practiced, we practiced against a different defense yeah. every possession because Valley will switch it up that often. Right now they're in the man, as here is Clevenger with it. Clevenger top, the key. Now they give it off to Wilson. Wilson stays in the top, and Egoff will stay up top with her. It's a man, but it's a switching man. As now McCarter, or excuse me, Wilson has it stolen. Left hand layup, up and good for Miller. Chesney Miller. Chesney Miller gets the first points of the game. It's 2 0 with a minute gone by. Here's Rochester, full court presser put on by Tippy Valley. It's a steal. Now they give it off to Egoff. Her shot goes up, no good. Rebound coming down to field. And a Tippy Valley foul going to be on Ava Smith. And that's going to be their first, first of the quarter. Foul number 14, Ava Smith, her first team's first. And again, a reminder that uh, change in the free throws this year is by quarters. Rochester looking to get it in. Full court press again by Tippy Valley. Here's Clevenger in the backcourt. Picks it up. Now gives it off to Wilson on the far side. She gets it across the timeline. Now to Clevenger. Now to McCarter on this right wing. Down in the field. Field dribbles down. Tries to go to Bowling on the opposite block, and the ball's kicked. And we have another jump ball. It's going to be turned over Position Rochester to, to the Valley Basketball. Rochester will drop back. Well, every time Audrey Bollinger has got to kind of pretzel herself yeah. down and pick up a loose ball, I'm always gets nervous because I know she, yeah. she's had that knee injury in the past. Here is me, though. Gonzalez with the basketball. Left side against Wilson. Wilson tips it away. Ball is loose on the ground, and, and going back and pick it up will be Tippy Valley. Here's Egon. Egon brings it right back down the middle. Egon now out to Gonzalez. Gonzalez loses it, almost back at court violation, but she saves it. That's what as close as she can get with yeah. in the Miller goes down low to Cox. Cox kicks it back out. They go right back to Cox as Bowler falls down. Cox is up and goes. Kelsey Cox has two, and it's 4 nothing now with 5.45 to go here in this opening Kelsey quarter. Kelsey Cox is playing bully ball there. Ball's tipped, stolen by Tippy Valley. Miller with the steal. Tried to go over the top, and Valley, just with those long arms, tipped it up in the air. See, Miller Valley has it. somebody in the high post. Miller's pass down low, stolen by Field. Here's another turnover. Quickly pushing up the floor is Rochester. McCarter with the basketball. Kicks it to Clevenger. She's got to go get it, but she bounces off her chest. Now here to McCarter. Right in front of the Valley bench. Goes to the free throw line. Kicks it back out to Clevenger. Wide open three. Short. And Field with a rebound. Field kicks it back out to McCarter. It's knocked away. McCarter retreats and picks it up. But we set the offense. Beating Field off to a really good start. Wilson with the basketball. Both ends. Out of McCarter. Over the top. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, another open three on the way. No good. And Field with another rebound. Kicks it out to Wilson. To Clevenger, right wing. Two on this time. Good. Riley Clevenger with a 15-footer. Cuts the lead in half. 14 or 4-2. Four to two, 439 to go here in this first quarter. Jamie Field deserves like half a point, doesn't yeah, she? No she something. Gonzalez with the basketball. Now down low to Cox. Cox tries to kick it back out. It's going to be the last touch by McCarter. Mm, that was close. That was close. First substitution of the evening goes to uh, Tilly Valley, and Macy Peterson will come in, a 5'9 senior. And again, that just speaks to Egolf's ability to play guard, yeah. so he can go with kind of a big lineup here. here. Now they go in, they kick it back out. Cox, 15-footer off the side of the backboard, no good. Rebound to Miller. Miller back up top to Egolf. Here's Miller with the basketball again. Now they go right side back to Egolf. Egolf against Clevenger. 
Down in the corner. Now they go down low to Cox. Cross court pass into the middle to Peterson. Up no good. McCarter with the rebound. McCarter loses it. And it's going to be last touch by the Zebras. Turnover number five. And that was Peterson just mixing it up and causing a turnover. McCarter had no help. Nobody uh, came down to help her. So another turnover. Here's the inbounds pass. It goes into Valley, into Peterson. Peterson double teamed. And we're going to have a reach-in foul against McCarter. It's going to be McCarter's first, team first of the quarter. Peterson gets most of her buckets on putbacks and on fast breaks and stuff. She's not, she's gotten a little better at kind of creating her own shot and hitting that little mid-range banker, but uh, off the dribble, that's, she's not comfortable with that. Three off the inbounds, no good. Rebound to Miller, goes up off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped away, and this one's going to go against Tippy Valley. It'll be the second of the quarter. And this one's going to be whistled on a 40 mil, or Cox. Cox picks up her first team second. 3.48 to go. I think the ladies, he spent some time at practice yesterday rebounding. <laughs> Here's Clevenger with it. They get it into field, almost tipped away by Miller. Now they go cross court to Wilson. Wilson gets it across the timeline. Wilson to McCarter right wing, loses the basketball. Now picks it back up, gives it to Bollinger. Bollinger has it knocked away by Miller into the hands of Smith. A great hands by Chesney Miller. Smith with it. Now up top to Gonzalez. And we get a, or excuse me, to Egoff. And we get a 30 second timeout by Tiffany Valley. 3.25 to go here in the first quarter on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Valley 4, Rochester 2. Thanks to the generous donors, the Fulton County Community Foundation has given over $19 million in grants and scholarships to our local communities. Grants received at the Community Foundation help families send their children to preschool, provide transportation, fund scholarships, local community events, and so much more. Call 574-223-2227 or visit NICF.org to see how your donation can benefit your community. Kind of feels a little bit like last year, Val, is uh, low scoring early. Uh, we'll see if anybody can break into that scoring column a little sooner than last year. Right, and Rock, the Valley's looked a little uncomfortable in the half court, yeah. which I think is a pretty good sign for Rochester. And Jaden Field has looked strong, even though she hasn't scored yet. I mean, yeah. she's done a lot of just about everything else. Valley with the basketball. Here's Egot down to Miller, down in the corner. Down low they go, and she loses it, and the ball's loose, and jump ball. It'll be Zebra basketball. As Peterson loses that one down low, went to try to make a move, and I'm not sure if somebody knocked it out or she just lost it in, in the exchange. Okay, yeah, got to get the big put the ball on the deck. And Here comes the pressure by Timmy Valley. Miller with the steal from Wilson. Ball's loose, picked up by Clevenger. Aubrey Wilson got away with the foul there. Yeah. Miller's hurt. She got she gets up. She's going to still fight through the defense. Now Zebra's getting across. Here's Field. Field gives it off to McCarter. Back up top to Clevenger. They swing it left side to Wilson. Wilson against Miller. Wilson now gets it off to Bollinger. There's three all over the Rochester Zebras. We're going to have another jump ball. This one's going back to Tiffany Valley. Turnover number eight. One thing Rochester's got to realize, if they're being triple teamed on that far side that means there's at least one person with nobody on them, maybe two two and a half to go in the opening quarter here's Egoff, that pressure there that last down trip down for Tibby Valley was unreal it looked like a tug of war yeah. Ball, yeah. here's Cox with the basketball over the top to no. now the Cox again at the elbow, goes down low to Peterson Peterson and get, somehow pulls it out of there with McCarter, shot goes up, no good and we're going to have another jump ball. This one's going to go back to Rochester. May have to have a whole other sheet for as many jump balls as we've got tonight. And it's five already in less than six minutes. Here comes that pressure by the Tibby Valley Vikings. It's man pressure, but they're working on trapping on the sides. Over to the top to McCarter, and Clevenger throws that one out of bounds. Turnover number nine. Two minutes exactly left here in this opening quarter. Still four to two. Here's Egoff with it. Now kicks it out to Miller. Miller on the far side. Now she goes down low to Peterson. Peterson to Cox. And she's going to be fouled. And I believe that's going to be on Bollinger. 
Great pass by Peterson and a nice backdoor cut by Cox. And it is on to Bollinger. It's going to be her first team second. So that will send Cox to the line. First free throws of the night coming for Cox. She's already got two points. First one just bounces over the front of the iron. Five to two now, Valley. Cox, a uh, discus and shot put thrower okay. for the Valley track team in the spring for Jenny Moriarty's. Cox, second one, good again. Four points now for Cox, and they lead six to two. Here comes that unrelentless pressure by Tippy Valley. They go to the far side now to McCarter. McCarter, cross court pass to Wilson. Wilson turns around and is met by Smith. Now they go to McCarter. She's double teamed. Bow to Wilson to the near side. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger with a basketball. Now on top to Keita Smith and Wilson. Back to Clevenger. Back to Wilson. Left side now to McCarter. Left wing. McCarter dribbles in, kicks it back out. They swing it to the right side. Now back over to the middle. Out of, into the middle to Bollinger. Bollinger steps out, passes it out. Here's Wilson with it. Minute 15 to go. Zebra still. Having possession, moving the ball nicely out front, not allowing it to get trapped. Clevenger with it to Wilson, to McCarter on the far side. They go into Bollinger. Bollinger back to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in, ball's knocked loose, and another jump ball. And it's back to Tippy Valley. Guess who was in on that one? Chesney Miller. Yeah. And the thing is, is that Aubrey Wilson's so focused on handling the ball. And right and uh, getting it out of trouble that she hasn't been had time to look for her own shot. Ava Smith comes out, and Delaney Buzzard, 5'11", sophomore, will come in for a minute here in the first quarter. Dalen Buzzard's really kind of improved her game. Uh, she's a good. She's another big who can shoot. They give it in to Cox. Cox back to Peterson. Left-hand layup goes up. No good, but foul coming against the Zebras. Good two on bowling, I believe. And it is... It's going to be on the Bollinger second, third of the quarter. And that will send Mia Hottishell in after this first free throw. Peterson at the line to shoot two. First one's good. And it's seven to two now. Lisa Peterson tore ACL back in May. Really? What did you never guess? Bollinger out, Hottishell in. And they were not sure even if she would be back this year, much less when. Much less start. Yeah, and she's just, you know, she's one of those kids who... Second one's good for Peterson again. Always has a smile on her face, but... 8-2, to two, 49 seconds to go. Don't be fooled. She is a tiger on the court. She wants every rebound. Still full court pressure put on by Tibby Valley. Clevenger with the basketball over the top. Now to McCarter. McCarter chases it down into the corner. She's double teamed to Clevenger. Back this side now to Wilson. They swing it far side now to... McCarter, McCarter over the top to Wilson with 28 seconds to go. Clevenger in the middle, back to Wilson. They're looking down low in the corner. Here's Hottishell, three on the way, off the mark, no good. Field with another offensive rebound. They bring it back up top. Here's Wilson. Four rebounds for Jaden Field. Now to Clevenger, 13 seconds. Clevenger, double team to get it to the field. Now to McCarter, now to Wilson with eight. Over the top, McCarter. McCarter tries to go down low to Hottishell, stolen. Here's Valley with the last possession, half quarter and up. That's going to do it for the first quarter. On the Rochester glass scoreboard. At the end of one, Tippy New Valley 8, Rochester 2. Back in the second quarter after this, you're listening to High School Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Two, Rochester's only point coming off of Riley Clevenger field goal. Tippy Valley, other uh, eight points, four of them are free throws, and four points from the field goal. So, uh, no threes yet in tonight's contest. Get ready to start the uh, second quarter. It'll be Zebra basketball. Turnovers 11 for Rochester in the first quarter and only full four for Valley. I'm not, I'm not sure Coach Kindig is wild about the four, but he'll certainly take the 11. Yeah. So it'll be Zebra basketball. It's knocked out of bounds by Tibby Valley. Miller knocks it out. It'll stay there, and Wilson will inbound. Wilson. Into the backcourt, now to McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter dribbles across. Into the contest is 44. That's Carly Snyder for Tippy Valley. McCarter gets it against Miller. McCarter forced back to the left. Now here's Wilson with it. Down in the corner to Hottishell. Dribbles down. She's double team. Kicks it to Wilson. Wilson back up top to McCarter. McCarter dribbles in to Hottishell. Left wing. 
Fakes it three. Now will dribble it back out. Picks up her dribble. She's double teamed. Gets it off to Wilson. Now to McCarter. Top the key. They go into field. Field. Back to McCarter. McCarter has the basketball. Top the key. Miller's all over. Now to get rid of it. And just misses a five count. Chesney's just like a one-person press. Yeah. Now they give it to Wilson. Just amazing. I mean, defensively, I... Wilson has it. She'll Even go around the usual. left side. Wilson pull up jumper off the glass. No good. But a foul coming against Tibby the Valley. It's going to be their first of the quarter. And it's going to be whistled against 44. That's going to be Carly Snyder. Her first team first of the quarter. So Wilson looking for her first points of the contest headed to the free throw line. Under Coach Burris talked about, you know, Aubrey playing off two feet in our postgame interview the other night. Yep. Then I interviewed Aubrey, and she talked about that too. As just, she goes, yeah, when you're playing middle school basketball, those one, one, one-footed one runners, you can get away with those. Not in varsity basketball. Well, not and, in varsity. And, and that's really been some of the adjustment for her. And you saw her make the adjustment uh, against McConaughey, and there she did that too, and she earned a foul. Makes both free throws, cut the lead in half, eight to four now. Tipping the Valley leads. It was nine to five at halftime of last year's game. <laughs> Here is uh, Gonzalez. I'm just Excuse saying, me, just saying. Egoff with the basketball, loses it, knocked loose by Wilson. Egoff picks it back up in the backcourt. Egoff brings it across the timeline. Now to Miller. Miller down in the corner. Here is a three on the way by Snyder. Good. The good girl steps out, pops down to three, and it's 11 to four. Devers with the basketball. Now to Hottishell. Hottishell outside, guarded by Snyder. Cross court pass off to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. They go back to McCarter on the left wing. McCarter around the screen. Now picks up her dribble to Hottishell. Hottishell down to the block. Tries to get it to field. She does. Up and no good. And a foul coming. Well, that was a nice pass by Mia Hottishell. Not exactly the way you maybe write it up and draw it up in a textbook, but. Kelsey, got there. Kelsey Cox picks up her second foul, team second of the quarter. That will send Jaden Field to the line to shoot two. I guess I was right about Carly Snyder shooting threes, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. First free throw missed by Field. Rochester on the season shooting uh, 58% from the free throw line. So coming in will be 54, Lucy Hayden. She'll replace Cox with two fouls. Here's Field with her second free throw. Field second one on the way. Good this time. One for two for Field, and it's 11 to five. Here is Egoff with the basketball. Right side to Miller. Back up top to Egoff. Egoff dribbles to the left side, cuts through the middle, throws up a running jumper, no good. Rebound, Tippy Valley. And then Snyder tries to go up, realizing she's too far underneath the basket and ends up traveling. Here comes the full court press again by Tippy Valley. McCarter has it in the backcourt. She'll come back to the middle now. Wilson on the near side gives it to her. Down the sideline goes Wilson. Wilson breaks free. Wilson goes to pass it back out. Ball's tipped, stolen by Egoff. Egoff will wait on her teammates. Nope, she'll just pull up. Short jumper. Good and Hottishow with a rebound. Good transition defense by Rochester. They, they did got get that back. quick. Coach Burris says get down before they can set up. Here's e- er, uh, Clevenger. Now to Wilson. Wilson guarded by Miller. Miller all over Wilson. I just throw it up in the air, and we got a timeout. Coach Burris gets a timeout. Yeah, Coach, they were wanting a timeout uh, for a while there. And finally, the f- and he wants a 60-second timeout with 5:22 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 11 to 5, Valley leads here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Here in the first half, 11 to 5, Tippecanoe Valley leads. Coach Burris was pleading and begging for a timeout, and finally, the far official uh, recognized him and called the timeout. Right, the two officials who were closest. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't notice, and Coach Burris is like, yeah. hey, hello. Yeah. Let me introduce myself to you. <laughs> so Zebras will have it on the far side. They inbound it to McCarter. Valley just in the man here. McCarter against, uh, that is uh, Egoff. McCarter picks it up, throws it over to Wilson on the far side. Wilson against Miller. Has it stolen. Here's a steal by Egoff. Egoff drivels down. Now she'll leave it for him. 
Hayden, Hayden up and good. Lucy Hayden getting her first points of the night. Tibby Valley ran the floor nicely that time. Zebras did not get back on the defense side. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Nice pass by Egolf there. Yeah. Wilson against Miller again. Wilson will just go right down the middle. Now she's going to get a hand check foul called against Chesney Miller. It's going to be her first team third of the quarter. So it'll be Zebra basketball on the far side. Wilson will inbound. Throws it into the backcourt. Now to Clevenger. 4.40 to go here before halftime. 13 to 5 our score. Tibby Valley leads. Clevenger with it. Top of the key. Clevenger. Clevenger guarded closely by Buzzard. Now gives it off to Wilson, who's guarded by Miller. Back to Hottishell in the left wing. Hottishell has it. Has it knocked loose. Ball's touched out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. Chesney Miller again. Snyder also tipping mm-hmm. it loose, and uh, Miller tried to tried to save it, but couldn't get there in Dale, time. Dalen Buster listed at 5'11". She's probably the tallest player that has ever guarded <laughs> Riley Clevenger. Here's doing Clevenger. doing a good job of it. Brings it her back across the timeline. Clevenger has it. Top the key, picks up her dribble. Now going to have to do something with it. Now gives it off to Hottishell. Hottishell guarded by Buzzard. Good job by Buzzard going over the yeah. screen. Clevenger, top of the key. Clevenger will bring it to the near side. Now backdoor cut by McCarter. It's broken up. Ball's loose on the ground, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. Jaden Field just dove in after that. I think she hit her head on somebody's leg. She kind of just shook her a little bit like, wow, that hurt. Jaden Field doing a marvelous job down here on the offensive end. Just can't get, the, can't get it to score. Here's Clevenger with it. Clevenger, out of McCarter on the far side against Hayden. She'll pull up. Hayden's shot. Got it blocked by Hayden. Here comes Egoff. Egoff, left side to Miller. Throws it out of bounds. Threw it a little too far ahead. Turnover number six for Valley. Lucy Hayden against McCarter. Hayden's listed at six foot. Again, pressure put on in the uh, three-quarter court. McCarter has it, now double-teamed off to Wilson. Wilson will fire a three, and she's going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Snyder. It's going to be her second, team fourth, and that will send Wilson to the line to shoot three. Wilson has two free throws already on the contest. Hunter will get ready to check in after a couple of free throws here by Wilson. And the thing about Aubrey is she's strong. Yeah. And because she's strong, she's going to get to the foul line a lot Free throw the push of her career. 13 to 6. And Coach Kindig also going to the bench after this next free throw. Levy's going to go back with Smith. Wilson, second free throw. Good. 13 to 7. Hunter comes in. Hottishell sits down. And Smith comes in. And sitting down will be Buzzard. Gabby Gonzalez has been sitting for a while. And she is not in foul trouble. She has not committed a foul. Well, yet. it's hurt earlier. And Aubrey Wilson hits all three. There is a possible ankle injury. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's bothering, bothering yeah, her a little bit. Look, look. Yeah. Three for Snyder on the other end for Valley. No good. Clevenger with a quick rebound. Clevenger now will push. Here comes Rochester. Zebras go to the left side. Now to Wilson. Wilson against Miller. And she'll lose it in the backcourt. So another turnover on Rochester. Just excellent hounding pressure again by Chesney Miller. So now it'll be Jimmy Valley basketball. Here's Egoff with it. Egoff, now over to Smith. Smith, back up top to Egoff. Egoff will go to the right side. Goes down low. Now they kick it back to Miller. Back up top to Egoff. Egoff drives that middle. Kicks it out. Here's three on the way for Smith. Good. Ava Smith with three. And now it's 16 to eight. Here's pressure again in the backcourt by Valley. That was a good possession by Valley. They got it in the short corner and they were able to break down the Rochester defense. Ava Smith not known for a three-point shooting, but had an open look there. Wilson is double teamed in the corner and a jump ball. It'll go back to Tiffany Valley. Another turnover on the Zebras. 
Substitution coming in for Tippecanoe Valley is Cox coming back in, and Snyder will sit down. Two and a half minutes to go here before halftime. 16 to 8 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here's Egolf with the basketball. Now down in the corner. They go to Cox. She loses it. McCarter picks it up, throws it ahead to Wilson. And tipped from behind by either Smith or uh, Chesney. And it'll be a shot up, no good. And they're going to say it came off of Rochester knocking it out of bounds. Tibby Valley basketball I think underneath Coach their own Burst basket. Rochester knocked it off Egolf's leg. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I didn't see that there. They get it in, and we're going to have a foul. And that's going to be called against Hunter. Hunter is going to pick up her first. That's, not, that's really not a bad foul. I no, mean, it's the first it's, of the quarter with two minutes to go. And they, that was a pass, and they were, would have been right on the doorstep of the bucket. Here comes the inbounds pass this time. They lob it up for Egolf. Egolf goes back up, and another foul coming. And I believe Field is going to pick up. She is. Field's going to pick up her first team second of the quarter, but that will sin. Yeah, and that's a play that, that's the a play that Chris Kendig has run forever, that out-of-bounds play where they lob it into the lane. And they made the state finals in 2015. They ran that play to Kaylee Teal a whole bunch. Free throw good by Egoff. It's her first points of the night. 17 to 8 now. Second free throw, no good. Rebound fought for. McCarter comes away with it. McCarter gives it off to Field, who gives it off to Hunter, and she travels. Yep. Didn't have those feet set. Turnover number 17. It's a 2 3 to go before halftime. 17 to 8. Tibby Valley leads. Rochester had 18 turnovers the entire game against McConaughey, and they pressed for the most part. They get it in. Now Miller has it to Egoff. She'll fire a three from the right wing. In and out, no good. Ball's fought for, and it'll be Zebra basketball. Last touch by Hayden. Ladies, he's got a break there, both Smith and Hayden. Yeah. It looked like they were both in position, but I think. I think Smith knocked out of Hayden's hands. If Smith yeah. had just gone out of the way and let Hayden have it, I think she would have had an easy putback. Full court press again put on by Timmy Valley. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Has it knocked loose by Chesney Miller. And the ball is going to be tied up. It'll be a jump ball again. And it goes to Zebra this time. What's the over-under for uh, jump balls tonight, Val? <laughs> 20. <laughs> Here's McCarter with it. Well, that's number nine Ooh. in this game. Wilson, top of the key. Not she, counting the change of quarters one. I'm, I'm talking yeah. about the actual tie-ups. Wilson, left side to McCarter. Hayden now is guarding Wilson. Clevenger, 10-footer. No, too hard. Rebound picked up by Field. Goes up off the bottom of the glass. And she goes for the rebound and goes out of bounds. Turnover on Rochester. 17-8 to eight with 120 to go. Here before halftime. Randy and Val, glad you could join us from Tibbing Valley High School. You could just see Jaden Field playing a lot yeah. more confidence than she did, you know, a couple weeks ago. Cox goes into Hayden, baby hook, up, no good. Field with a rebound. Field gives it off to McCarter. Coach Burris says, let's go. Brings it across the timeline. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger has it with under a minute to go before the quarter break. Halftime. Miller knocks it out of bounds. It will stay with Rochester Just on the far side. a great hustle play by Jaden Field to save the possession. She, I think she might have hurt her arm there. Just great hustle again. Into McCarter in the backcourt. 50 seconds to go. Here's McCarter to Clevenger. She's going to be guarded by Smith. Trying to force her in the backcourt. Clevenger dribbled out of it. Wilson with the basketball. Top of the key. Now to McCarter on the left side. Back up top to Clevenger. Clevenger dribbles to the left. Now bring it back to the right and hands it off to Wilson. Wilson to McCarter. McCarter guarded by Egoff. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson. Miller knocks it loose. Ball's loose. Still on the ground. Miller picks it up. Throws it ahead to Smith. Smith tries to go over the top to Gonzalo, or to uh, Egoff. Can't do it, but it's picked back up by Tippy Valley. Miller with the basketball. Here's Egoff with nine. Egoff to Miller, out out of the corner. Now back to Miller with three. 
the eagle from the volleyball line, short, and that's going to do it for the first half on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 17 to 8. Timothy Valley leads Rochester at halftime. When we come back, the halftime show brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier. Again, on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 17 to 8. Timmy Valley leads here at Timmy Valley High School. You're listening to Giant FM Sports on RTC TV4. From Spain named Adria Guasp. Okay. G U A S P. He's from Spain, and he is supposedly a very good shooter, and he's going to impact Culver right away. Uh, their leading returning scorer is David Height. Okay. He is a junior, so That's uh, Coach Evans is very excited about his team and about his newcomers. That's coming your way tomorrow night here on Giant FM. We'll start the uh, second half with Tibby Valley with the basketball. They go down low, and a wide-open shot at the block is Lacey Peterson. Peterson. Macy gets her uh, first field goal of the night. That was too easy. She's got four, and here's that pressure on the backcourt for Timmy Valley. Clevenger has it, goes over the top to field. Field will bring it across the timeline and then lose it out of bounds. So frustrating. You work so hard to get the ball across half court, and then she just kind of loses the handle of it. Ugh. 30 seconds gone by, 19 to 8, our score here in the third quarter. Just an ugly first 35 seconds yeah. of a half. Miller with the basketball. Now to Egolf. Back over to Miller. Back to Egolf, right side. Egolf, top of the key. Goes left side. Zero still in that 2 3 zone. Here's Egolf. Dribbles in. Kicks it out to Smith. Smith with the basketball. Smith dribbles in between the defenders. Throws up a shot. No good. Ball's tipped around. McCarter will come away with it. McCarter. Smith is capable, but yep. if, she, if she makes that shot, you just tip your hat. I mean, that's a tough shot. Here's Clevenger with a pass down low, trying to get it to Bollinger. Going to be tipped out of bounds by Peterson. It'll stay with Rochester. And it sounds like that's when the adjustment. They want to move McCarter to the corner a little yeah. bit, see if they can get her open there. Gonzalez did not start here in the second half. She's sitting at the end of the bench. Yeah, Peterson is yeah. did start. Here's McCarter with the basketball. Again, Zebras with the original five. McCarter, Clevenger, Bollinger, Field, and Wilson. Clevenger around that right side. Throws up a running jumper. Good. Riley Clevenger attacks the basket on that right side. Throws it up against Smith, and it goes in. Well, you like to see that. Here is Cox with it. Cox kicks it back out to Smith. She'll fire a three off the mark. No good. McCarter with a rebound. McCarter gives it off to Wilson. Wilson on the far side. Now cut it back to the middle. Wilson goes to the hole, throws up a shot, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Guess who hustled back in yeah. transition defense? Chesney, Chesney Miller. Miller. Yeah. yeah, Say her name a lot, playing defense. I mean, uh, and Aubrey could, you know, she heard footsteps. Yeah. Here's the inbounds pass into the corner to Clevenger. Three on the way, no good. Cox and Field will battle, and it'll stay with Rochester. An offensive rebound for Field. Boy, again, you can see Jaden Field playing with more confidence. She's just battling with the, she's a freshman battling with the senior down low for a yeah. rebound. That was a really good screen by Audrey Bollinger to get an open look there. Field will get it in. Field over the top to Clevenger. Clevenger guarded by Smith. Clevenger has it knocked loose, has to go fetch it. Now picks it up right at the half court line. And Miller's going to be whistled for her second foul. First of the quarter as she reached in on the double team there. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here on Giant FM and RTC TV 4. Six minutes to go here in the third, 19-10, Tibby Valley. Wilson looking to get it in, going to have to hurry, and there's the five-second call. Didn't get it in in time, and another turnover on the Zebras. Turnover number 20. So on the far side now, Tibby Valley will inbound. Hmm, what are the officials talking about? Uh, mic them up. Let's see what they talk about. Here he is Timmy Valley now with the basketball. Miller has it up top to Egolf. Egolf dribbles in. Egolf right to the hole. Nobody stepped in to stop her. And Eva Egolf has her first field goal of the evening. Well, well they set a screen in the high post yeah. by Peterson, and that kind of created an avenue to the bucket. They did not put a person in the high post in the first half, so that was an adjustment Coach Kindig made. But Carter down low. McCarter going to have to get rid of it. Throws it over the top back to Clevenger. Now left side now to Wilson. Wilson dribbles down and dribbles right back up top. Swing it right side to Clevenger. Now to Wilson at the volleyball line. Valley in a 2-3 now. Chesney Miller comes out, puts a little 
Pressure on the ball. Now they go back to Wilson. Back up top to McCarter. Right side to Clevenger. Swings it back upside. Now left wing. Rochester keeping it on the perimeter. Not really uh, getting anything down low. May have to set some screens to get somebody open. Wilson with it. Wilson trying to get it to Bollinger. Can't do so. Now they reset. Go back up top to McCarter. Five minutes remaining here in the third. 21-10. 11 point Valley lead. Again, Valley's 2-3 zone does not look like Rochester's 2-3 zone. No. They're and two totally different defenses. Going to be trapped in the corner. and It'll be off the leg of Egolf. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of their own bench. Miller putting pressure on the out-of-bounds to Egolf. Now they give it to Wilson. Wilson then throws it out-of-bounds. Not touched. It'll be a turnover, Rochester. Turnover 21. 4.45 to go here in the third. Here's Egoff with it. Egoff gives it off to Peterson. Now they go back to the left side to Egoff. Try to go down low to Peterson. Do a cutting Cox up and good. Nice offense. Zebra sucked over on the double team and left Cox wide open to be able to cut right. through the middle. Cox was screening the high post and then just cut. Stolen by Peterson. Now to Smith. Smith, cross-court pass to Miller. Miller will drive in. Now kick it back out. Smith, left wing. Three ball, no good. And Field with a rebound. Field gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger will push it up the sideline. Now back to Wilson. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger, left side. And we're going to get a hand check on Miller. It's going to be her second. Team second of the quarter. And Smith, actually. Or excuse me, yeah, Smith. Hottishell checks in, and the field will sit down. Clevenger looking to get it in. Back court now to Wilson. Wilson will bring it across. Give it to Clevenger, left wing. Clevenger to Wilson, to McCarter. Side now, jump stop. Here's a three open for Clevenger off the mark. No good. And Peterson with a rebound. Peterson gives it ahead to Egoff. Egoff. Top the key around the screen. The give and go. Egoff to Peterson. Up and no good. And a foul coming against the Zebras. McCarter or Clevenger? Bollinger. Or Bollinger. Bollinger. Third on Bollinger. First of the quarter. And that will send Peterson to the line for two free throws where she was uh, perfect in the first quarter. Yeah, nice adjustment by Coach Kindig and his staff using that kind of that high post person and then kind of cutting him to the hoop and Peterson's some, free throws good and getting some looks that way that's the third time they've done that Peterson will have another already one. this quarter misses that one Hottishell comes away with a rebound but a foul coming and I believe that's going to be whistled against Cox and that'll be her third and it is third of the quarter for Tibby Valley Let's see what Coach Kendig does here. If he leaves Cox in the game, or does so he bring far, in? So far, he did. His ball's in play now in the backcourt. Pressure. A... Wilson picks it up. Ball's knocked loose. It's off of Egolf. It'll stay with Rochester. Tibby Valley kind of sets back until that first pass, and then they bring everybody up just like they did there. Rochester goes over the top this time to Hottishell in the, in the forecourt. Hottishell then is fouled, and that one's going to be on Miller. It's going to be her third. Team fourth of the quarter. <laughs> so to be out of bounds to Rochester underneath their own basket. Baseline right. Clevenger to inbound. Over the top to McCarter. McCarter to Clevenger. Three on the way. Got it to roll. Riley Clevenger. Three more. Seven for Clevenger. Here's Egoff with the basketball. Egoff down, down to the corner to Miller. They swing it top side to Cox. Cox has it. Cox back to Egoff. Egoff leaves it for Miller, or Smith, excuse me. Smith to Egoff. Down low, it goes to Cox at the block. Down low to an open Peterson. No good. Rebound, McCarter. McCarter out to Hottishell, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Peterson. It'll stay with Rochester. I have uh, Ella McCarter with five rebounds in this game. Most have been yeah. in the uh, in traffic. Yeah, no kidding. Big girl rebounds. Here's Ella's McCarter. Hasn't scored yet, but 
she's contributed on the boards. Wilson down the sideline. Now reverses it back over to Clevenger. Now to McCarter on the right side. Top of the key to Clevenger. She'll lose it. Another turnover. That's what you call a, a cumulative pressure. Just yeah. it, it accumulates after yeah. a while and you... Well, you just don't know. You turn your back and you don't know if it's there or not. You're right. assuming it is because it has been there You're most hearing of the game. footsteps and, yeah, yeah. that's... 2.29 to go here in the third quarter. 24-13, Tippy Valley leads. The give and go, stepped in the middle this time by Clevenger. She'll steal it. The timing was off there for Valley. And Clevenger to Wilson. Wilson, left side now to McCarter. McCarter drives down into the block, kicks it back out to Bollinger. Bollinger, top of the key to Hottishell. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. Got to get in a mix and match, try to go over the top. It's going to be tipped and stolen. Here's Miller. Chesney Miller, right, left-hand layup up and no good, and it's going to be last touch by Rochester. Somebody from the league, he's got away with a push in the back. Uh, I believe Hottish. Kelsey show. Cox went flying. Yeah, I believe Hottish show by the look on her yeah. face. She kind of turned around and said, oops. Rochester was trying to work a pick and roll that last possession, but good job by Cox defensively. We're going to have a jump ball in the alternating possession. Going to stay with Tibby Valley as Valley tried to go in low to the blocks that time. <laughs> Zebra defense. On the ground with that one. Under two to go here in the third. Top of the key to Miller. Miller, here comes a wide open. Egoff, three on the way. Off the mark, no good, but a rebound by Peterson. And on Bollinger. And it, it is on Bollinger. That's going to be her fourth. And that's going to be the second on the Rochester second quarter in this quarter. So Bollinger now with four. Peterson just got inside. Here's Peterson again against Bollinger. Throws up a running jumper. Just got it to fall somehow. Peterson just throws it up after the contact. No foul. And a turnover. Nope. Okay, he pointed the wrong way. Peterson all of a sudden has turned up her defense here in the second half. Now the Zebras will have it with a minute and a half to go in the third. They try to trap in the corner, and it's last touch by Smith. This is my, I think this is my third or fourth Valley game of the year. This is the first time I've seen that defense. A diamond, diamond look, like a three-quarter court press. Not a full court press, but not yeah. a half court trap either. McCarter will get it in the backcourt. She'll bring it across, guarded by Egoff. Loses it, now picked up by Bollinger. Bollinger to the block, kicks it back out to McCarter. McCarter in the block to Hottishell. Hottishell fakes, now goes to the hole, running jumper up, no good. Cox with a rebound. Nice strong move by me, yeah. I just couldn't finish, just but I'd like, like to see her try that again. Egolf with the basketball for Valley, now top to Cox. They go down low to Peterson. Peterson. Rolling her, that came very close yeah. there. Just Smith, now down in the corner. Now to Peterson again. She throws up a shot, and Bollinger just fouled out. Bullinger going to pick up her fifth here in the third quarter. And Hunter, nope, it's going to be Field will come back in. Peterson will go to the line to shoot two. She was one for two her last trip there. Bullinger finishes with no points tonight. Also coming in for Timothy Valley will be Lacey Hayden. And coming out will be Cox. She'll come out and sit down for a while. She's got three fouls for Tippecanoe Valley. Peterson, two free throws on the way. And the first one falls. Good. 27 to 13. Peterson will have another one. Eight points so far for Peterson. Make it nine with the second free throw. This is going to be very encouraging if you're Chris Kindig that Peterson's played this way. Yeah. He's been trying to kind of manage her minutes after t- she tore her ACL. Here's Hottishell with the basketball. Now to Wilson. Top of the key to Clevenger. Left side now to McCarter. McCarter tries to split the defense. Can't do so. Now she'll reverse the basketball. They go right back to McCarter on the left wing. 35 seconds to go in the quarter. Kicked off the foot of Smith. The Zebras will have it right in front of their own bench. That's the thing, you, you know, they're in a zone. If you try to drive it to the basket, I mean, Egoff's tough to drive on. You kick it back out to the perimeter, yeah. and there's Chesney Miller and 
Ava Smith waiting for you. Wilson with the basketball, knock loose. Wilson picks it back up. Now to Clevenger with 25 seconds to go. Clevenger against Smith to get a screen by Field. Field posted up Hayden. It's knocked loose by Hayden into the hands of Smith. I think they were trying to run a pick and pop or a pick and roll, and but Jaden Field turned her turned her back. Egoff with the basketball with 10. Egoff around the screen. Now down in the corner to Smith. They go down low to Peterson. Peterson goes to work up off the glass. Is good. And that's going to do it for the quarter. At the end of three, Tippecanoe Valley 13. Or excuse me, Tippecanoe Valley 30. Rochester 13, back with the fourth and final quarter after this. You're listening to the High School Basketball Giant FM and RTC TV4. Scoreboard, Valley leads 30-13. 30 to 13. Val, how many turnovers did each team have that, that quarter? Uh, seven for Rochester, one for Valley in the quarter. 25 for Rochester and eight for Valley for the game. So we'll get ready to start the fourth and final quarter. It'll be Zebra Basketball. And a Peterson... Scoring frenzy in that quarter for Tipping New Valley. She had uh, nine. Clevenger with all five of Rochester points. There's a steal right off the bat from Egoff. Egoff up and good with a layup. Stolen off the inbounds pass. Now they go over the top to Hottishell. Hottishell down in the corner. Gives it back to Wilson. Top the key to Clevenger. Clevenger goes to the right side to Wilson. Back to, Now they got McCarter. McCarter, 15-footer on the way, off the mark, no good. Rebound goes to Egoff. Egoff, top of the key. Egoff, now down in the corner to Miller. Miller, swings it back up top to Egoff. What you worry about playing against this Valley team is they're just so strong, and do you wear down a little bit by the time you get to the fourth yeah. quarter? They try to go over the top to Hayden, and Egoff threw it too high. Out of bounds, turnover to the Valley. Field will come out, and Hunter will come into the contest. Tibby Valley's going to back off to at least three-quarter. This is about your best ball-handling lineup yeah. that he could have. The field and bowling are both out. And a push foul coming against Miller. Miller going to pick up her fourth team first of the quarter. first of the quarter. Zebras will inbound right in front of the scoring table. They do so to McCarter. McCarter has the basketball top of the key to Clevenger. Clevenger goes right side now to Wilson. Back over to McCarter. McCarter has it knocked loose by Egoff. Egoff, McCarter down the other end, up and no good. The rebound comes away to Tippy Valley. And Buzzer with the rebound basket. And that foul. Told on Clevenger. Team's first of the quarter. Clevenger's first as well. And Smith will come back in and Miller will sit down. Free throw is good by Buzzard. Dalen Buzzard, the star of that Valley softball team that won their first sectional in 31 years. She's got three here in the fourth quarter. Here is Clevenger with a basketball. Clevenger holds on the left side. Goes into Hottishell. Hottishell is going to be fouled by Peterson. It's going to be her first, team second. Zebras will inbound the basketball. Right in front of their own bench. Clevenger looking to inbound. Over the top to McCarter in the backcourt. McCarter, she's going to be called for an offensive foul as kind of give an elbow to try to clear her away. And can't, can't do that right in front of the official. <laughs> no. Kind of obvious. So her first, or excuse me, McCarter's second, also yeah. the second of the quarter. This hasn't been Ava Egolf's greatest offensive game, but she's been very solid defensively, more than solid. Yeah. McCarter can't get by her. Here in the corner, now goes down low to Hayden. Hayden, turnaround jumper up, no good. Peterson had him, but lost it, now picked up by Hottishell. Nice post-entry pass by Bussard, but here is Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball, left side. Clevenger picks up her dribble, now to Hunter. Hunter brings it back up top, now to Wilson. Wilson back to Clevenger, left wing. Clevenger around the screen, while well, get nothing out of it. Now I'll have to bring it back up to the top. Here's McCarter, top of the key. McCarter leaves it for Clevenger. Wide open three on the way, off the mark, no good. Hayden with a rebound. Here comes Egoff, quickly ahead to Buzzard. Buzzard 
to a cutting Peterson up oh, too hard. Hayden with the rebound, back up and good. <laughs> Lucy Hayden's got four on the evening, and Tibby Valley now leads 37-13. That was frustrating. Rochester got a hand, did kind of get back defensively. Yeah. They got a hand on the pass, but hot a shell with it, and it's going to be knocked out of her hands by Egolf. It'll stay with Rochester. Valley's two but or three buckets, one on a transition and two in putbacks. I mean, that's not anything out of their half court. Here's McCarter with it, left wing. McCarter holds against Egoff. Now gets a screen, rolls to the right, picks up her dribble, now back out to Clevenger. Three on the way, off the mark, and a buzzer tips it, and it goes into the hands of Smith. And just the long arms of Bussard. And, yeah. uh, uh, now buzzard on the offensive side. To Hayden, now to Smith, down low to Peterson. Peterson. I thought that was a walk. To Egoff, three on the way, no good. And the rebound comes away to Riley Clevenger. Yeah, I think it was a walk, too. Under five to go here in the fourth quarter. McCarter with the basketball, top of the key. Zebras trail 37 13. McCarter now over to Wilson. Valiant a man. Wilson gets a screen by Smith, and we're going to have a blocking foul called against Tibby Valley. And that's going to be called against 24. Egoff, it's her first. Well, again, that's Amy Egoff for you. You have a 24-point lead in the fourth quarter, and she's trying to draw a charge. Timeout, Zebras, 4.38 to go here in this fourth quarter. Just always playing hard. Rochester Glass scoreboard, 37-13. Back with the fourth quarter after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Lewis Cass, new that's member of the TRC. Yeah, it's interesting. In, in a new coach at Lewis Cass, yes. we put Brands taking over for Coach Johnson. And that, what we've heard, it's a more guard-oriented team okay. with Lewis Cass this year. And, of course, Carroll, they won their two-way sectional yeah, last did. year. So that, that would be a great win. I, mean, I know Carroll's got a lot back from last year as well. That would be a great win if Lewis Cass can hold on. Zebras with the basketball after the timeout by the Zebras. It'll be Zebra basketball. Clevenger. Tries to get open, can't do so. Now McCarter with it. McCarter back to Wilson. Wilson to Clevenger, left side. Top of the key, they go to McCarter on the wing. Dribbles in, kicks it out to Hunter. Hunter back to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. Guarded by Hayden. Wilson should be able to take the big post, but instead the pass is stolen. Here's Peterson to the other end, layup, good. Lacey Peterson had the game here tonight. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Now to Wilson. Straight away three off the mark. No good. Out of bounds to Tibby Valley. 39-13 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 344 remaining. Don't forget, Zebra Boys open up their season tomorrow night at Culver. Val and I will be there, so I hope you can join us. For that, tomorrow night, 6.40 pregame, 7 o'clock, varsity-only contest. Macy Peterson with 13 points tonight. I think that's a season high. Down in the corner. Now that is Snyder. Snyder goes low to Peterson. Off her foot. Out of bounds. Turnover to the Valley. Turnover number 10 for Valley. 29 turnovers for the Lady Zebras. Coach King Gig saying that your spacing there was a problem. <laughs> yeah. Here's uh, Wilson with the basketball. We'll bring it across the timeline. Now they go to... To McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter going to be fouled. I believe that's going to be on Egoff, and that's just going to be her second. And foul number four of the game quarter. Ava Egoff's not going to give an inch, not even with a 26 point lead in the fourth yeah. quarter. She'll take the foul instead. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger. And that's kind of sending a message when if these teams meet again in February. Yeah. McCarter, top of the key. McCarter around the screen. A switch on defense due to the Tibby Valley Vikings. Slowed up McCarter. Here's Wilson now with the basketball to McCarter. McCarter drives in the paint. Now kicks it back out. We're going to have a travel on Ella McCarter. It's a travel. 2.49 remaining. I mean, just frustration, but, I mean, that's a walk. Yeah. It's funny. I mean, Carly Snyder, when, when they told her the game plan, she said, probably said, you want me guarding who? Yeah. You me guarding Clevenger? <laughs> Here. Yes, and she did a great job of it there. She did. Smith with the basketball. Now into Peterson. Peterson is double teamed. And a foul coming on to Clevenger. It's going to be her second, team third. Out of the out of bounds now to Tibby Valley underneath her own basket. Baseline right. Manchester has three field goals in this game. 
He's off to inbound. They get it into wide open. Peterson misses it. Peterson gets her own rebound back up. No good and a foul coming. All the shots she has made, and she missed that one. Yeah, That's no the easiest good. shot she's had all night. That one's going to be called on McCarter. Her third, team fourth of the quarter. And Peterson will go back to the free throw line. Macy Peterson, two more free throws on the way for her. First one is good. Six or seven so far on the evening for Peterson. She'll have another one. Seven conference titles while Valley was in the TRC for Chris Kindig, plus four sectionals. Free throws missed, balls loose, and McCarter will pick it up. They give it off to Clevenger. And so now Zebras will have it across the timeline is Wilson. Wilson guarded by Smith, knocked out of bounds, saves it. Wilson does. Now gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger with a basketball. Back up top. They try to go to Wilson, and Wilson will lose it out of bounds. Turnover Rochester. I mean, they don't concede anything. No. You want to just throw a pass out on the wing? Two minutes, ten seconds remain. They're not even going to give you that. No. E-Golf will bring it up. 40-13, to 13, our score right now with two minutes to go. Smith with it. Smith tries to go into Peterson. They give it out to Hayden. Cross-court pass to Egoff. Back up top to Smith. Smith dribbles in. Out to Hayden. Hayden, one dribble. Gives it back up top to Egoff. Egoff out to Smith. She'll reset the offense. Smith on the far side. Now on the near side. Gives it to Hayden over the top to Egoff. Egoff, three-point uh, position and Takes a dribble to the left side. Now they go down low to Peterson against McCarter. Throws it up too hard. Hayden tries to crash the boards and can't grab it. Go out of bounds on Hayden. Yeah, Peterson kind of a frustrated look on her yeah. face. Like, that one a little too hard. One. Yeah. yeah. I, think she, I think she was closer to the basket than she realized. 90 seconds remain. And this is just some kind of defense that Valley's played. I mean, Clevenger with it. Top of the key. Goes right side now to... Wilson. It's been 10 minutes since Rochester last scored. Clevenger. Here's Hunter. She'll chuck a three on the way. No good. Peterson with a rebound. Minute 10. Here's Egoff. Here comes pressure now by Rochester. And Snyder has it on the far side, on the near side. Now back to Egoff. Now to Smith. Back up top to Egoff. Smith to Egoff. Playing catch up front. They'll go to the outlet and Peterson over the top to Hayden. And we're going to have a foul yeah. and a push in the back Mia by the Mia. Yeah. And that will send Timmy Valley to the line. Team fifth. 50 seconds remain, and Hayden will go to the line to shoot two. Lucy Hayden did not play against John Glenn the other night, and I, I don't know why she did not play. She had four points here tonight, looking for five, and the free throw short. She transferred in from John Glenn. Buzzard back in and also coming in will be Hadley Wise. Hadley Wise was their lead, is their leading scorer in their JV. She's going to be a very good varsity player someday. Just not enough minutes for her. Hayden too hard on that free throw. Peterson with the rebound. Put it back up and good. 42-13 with 40 seconds to go. Here's McCarter left side. Back up top to McCarter. Now out of Hottishell. Hottishell has it. Now they go to Clevenger. Three on the way for Clevenger. Good. Riley Clevenger gets the first points of the fourth quarter. 42-16. Here is Buzzard with it. Into Hayden with 18 seconds. Hayden back to Buzzard. And it goes to Peterson, but over through her, and Hunter steals it. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Nine seconds. To McCarter, now to Clevenger. Three on the way for Clevenger. Short, Snyder rebounds, and that's going to do it. The final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard for Timothy Valley High School. Timothy Valley at 42, Rochester 16. We'll be back with a post game being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. The final from Timothy Valley High School, 42 16. Timothy Valley defeats the Zebras. Back with more after this Giant FM and RTC TV4. 